Sponsored by the Kaufman Organization out of Kansas City, Missouri. We've got, uh, we're number 73 of the, the 73rd community. That's uh, in numbers of 80s, where there are 80 some communities now that um, meet every Wednesday morning, 9 o'clock, somewhere in, in the country, and provide pitch practice for entrepreneurs. And today we have special guest, Nick Sutton. He's going to um, tell us all about his photography business and take it away. You're going to get six minutes. Yeah. I'll give you the one minute warning just to sure. friendly. Yeah. And then the bell goes off. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Nick Sutton. I own uh, Digital Lens Journal out of Norfolk. Uh, I actually now operate out of Hatch. Um, before, when I filled out all the information, I was actually across the street. But uh, so this is my business. It's uh, started in January. So. Uh, talk about it. Um, so what is my company? Uh, should be kind of obvious what I do, but uh, I rent photography equipment. I'm the only company in Hampton Roads, and the next closest company is in Richmond. Um, otherwise, if people were trying to rent lenses, they'll go online. There's, there's a lot of other uh, companies out there that rent online. Uh, so what problem am I solving in this area? Well, there's no real true dedicated camera store in this area. There's there, there's a small one, but it doesn't carry a lot of higher end equipment. You do have your Best Buys, your H Greggs. Again, they're not carrying stuff. A lot of a lot of professional photographers are, are after uh, you know the higher end stuff. Um, there's no hands on learning with the new equipment. New equipment happens all the time with photography. Um, whether it's a new camera body, a new lens, new lighting equipment. Some people when they come in, they they've never touched any of that before and they kind of want that hands-on feel so you know I'm here to help with that um, and there's no access to the latest equipment for example if you want to go to Best Buy and you go you can pick up the camera attached to a tether and you're stuck and you can't take pictures and take images home and, and mess with them. Uh, with digital lens rental you can do that um, we know a couple of people who procrastinate right everyone procrastinates every now and again so uh, I have uh, example last night someone messaged me and said hey I gotta have a lens for tomorrow can you beat me and I was like well after my presentation absolutely so it's a it's a perfect last minute option uh, I'm faster than Amazon Prime that's pretty much how you put that <laughs> so what's the advantage of my company well one I'm local like I said um, another aspect of it is if you order online a lot of the cost is between thirty and fifty dollars just for your order to get here that's a lot of money when you're you, when you're Order is only seventy dollars. You get paid thirty dollars for rental. Kind of gets a little crazy. Um, the personal experience, like I said, it's face to face. You can ask me questions. It's it's uh, it, it's it's nicer to actually talk to someone face to face than going, "Hey, how do you use this camera? Oh, this button? Do you mean this button? You get rid of all of that." Um, again, the hands-on learning it's it's a big aspect of it. I'll I'll spend hours talking to people if they want to talk to me for an hour. I, I don't care. Uh, so the facts of the company, I take all the profit I make in this company and I dump it back in the company. Um, I have a day job. Um, I don't pay myself in this company yet because it's a startup. Uh, it's been debt free ever since I started it. Um, I had a lot of equipment from the start and ever since I've been putting money back in it, buying more equipment and that's just the way that it's been uh, revolving. I've had over 250 transactions. My average transaction is around $70. Uh, fluctuates a little bit. Um, I've made almost twenty thousand dollars this year, just for my first year, which is way more than I would have ever expected. Which is good because now I know I can grow the business. So, what's my direction? Where am I going with this company? Um, I really want to start a membership program to to help people who rent often. Um, I, I think loyalty is a big thing with me. I, I love people who come back. I love people who uh, give good feedback, positive, negative feedback, to help my company grow. Uh, I want to do an educational series, whether it's uh, bringing in outsiders like high-end, true leaders of the industry to Hampton Roads because a lot of people will learn from local people. Some people don't like local people, but when you hear big names come to this area, it's like, oh, well, I didn't know about Digital Lens Rental. I knew about XYZ. Let's go you know, see what this is all about. Um, I would love to do like some kind of school partnership. Um, I'm, I'm a big person in growing the community. I love it when I see a little kid walking around with a camera on his neck, right? I'm like, oh, that kid's gonna be making art down the road, being way better than I ever was. And I just love seeing that. I would love to do something with middle schools, high schools, colleges, whoever. Um, and I don't know much about that 
whether it's like lease programs or like after school programs or something, just something different. Um, and then the community outreach. Basically, I want to give back to the community, whether it's, you know, giving a donation to an art center, giving donations to a school to buy new equipment, doing whatever I can do to give back to the community because I'm from here, I want this area to grow, I love this area. So my growth plan is, um, I'm really entertaining the idea of, uh, you know, getting funding for this company. Um, I, I've run across a lot of issues where people will come to me and say, hey, do you have this? And I'll say, no, I don't have that. And it's not like I can just go out and purchase a $5,000 piece of equipment tomorrow. You know, I, I, I'm strategizing this company to be smart about it, so I'm not putting myself in so much debt to try to make profit because, you know, I can go out of business that way, and I don't want to do that. Um, product expansion obviously kind of goes back to the funding aspect. Um, I want to more defined target for my marketing. Um, I don't really do that well at marketing right now as the startup. Um, that's something I'm, I'm definitely going to focus on in 2017. Um, membership program, obviously, and then optimize my logistics on the website, pickups, returns, stuff like that. And this is the most important slide. Everybody look at the slide. <laughs> that's all the information you want. And that's it. That was great.